Do you want the feeling of a traditional holiday dinner, but it's a small group or just the two of you? You won't miss all the work from a big turkey when you make my roasted Cornish game hens with wild rice stuffing. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep everything as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and watch a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration is all about Thanksgiving. Now, it's been a weird year, so we're keeping things kind of, kind of small this year, and I think a lot of people are. We're making Cornish game hens stuffed with wild rice stuffing. Sounds great, so let's get started. First, we need to make the stuffing. Now, in my bowl, I have a cup of wild rice mixture that I cooked ahead of time. This is the rice that I like to use. This is a wild rice mixture, and it has wild rice and red rice and brown rice, several things in it. You can find lots of varieties of this type of mixture. You can use all wild rice, whatever you like. All I did was I followed the package instructions and I cooked a cup of rice with a knob of butter and a cup and a half of chicken stock just until it absorbed everything and was fully cooked. Then I put it in this bowl so it will cool down a bit because you don't want it piping hot when you go to stuff it. Now this stuffing has a few ingredients and they're kind of fun. The first one is dried apricots. And if you can't find them or don't know what they are, this is how they come in this store. And you can buy them in any grocery store, wherever the dried fruits are, the raisins, usually near the baking section. But you can get them anywhere and you can get them year-round. So let's get assembling. Here's our apricots. This is one-third cup. And all I did was I roughly chopped them. Very, very easy to do. It doesn't have to be perfect, just roughly chopped. Some orange zest. Now, this is a tablespoon or the zest of one large orange. This is going to add some brightness. It's not gonna taste like orange, but there's gonna be that extra background lift to it. That will go very nicely with the little nuggets of sweetness that you get from the apricots. Ground ginger, one teaspoon. This is going to add a little of a almost a heat, and it's that seasonal flavor that we all love. It goes very well with the apricots and the orange. Now I'm just gonna stir to combine. Very simple. And it comes together pretty quickly. Just wanna break up those apricots a little bit. Okay. And that's it really. What I wanna do now is taste for seasoning. I don't know how much salt and pepper this needs because the chicken stock had salt in it. So we're gonna taste it right now and adjust it if we need to. Just a little bit more, tiny bit more salt, not much, just a pinch or so, and some pepper. Okay, let's give this a stir. And that's that. That came together pretty quickly, didn't it? Now we're going to stuff this into our game heads. Here are my gorgeous little Cornish game hens. Now, you know, there's nothing special about these. These are just little chickens. And they usually come in packages of two, individually wrapped. So we're just going to stuff them. We're going to treat them like any other chicken. Actually, first thing I want to do, 
I'm going to season the inside a little bit with a little salt and pepper. A little salt and a little pepper just to put flavor everywhere. Now you will notice that I have little special separate salt and peppers today because I'm touching raw chicken. I'm going to discard them afterwards. Now we're just going to spoon these in. You don't need to pack it. Just spoon it in. Now this is going to make, you're going to have stuffing left over. And that's okay. Because you can reheat it and eat it separately. Just a few spoonfuls in each one. And it's okay if you get a little messy and it dribbles out. That's fine. Let's do this one. Oop. Okay. So it's pretty easy. Certainly easier than stuffing a big turkey. One more should do it. Okay. No, I lie. One more after that. Here we go. Okay. Now we're all stuffed and we just want to now tie the little legs together with some kitchen twine. That's going to help keep the stuffing in. So you don't want it to fall out while you're in the oven. It'll also help keep it moist. And that's really just that simple. All right, so we're all tied up now. We're almost ready to go to the oven. Just have to prepare these a little bit more. I have a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just going to rub some on each of the birds. That's going to help them brown up nicely. You want to get them all over. You may not use the whole bit, and that's fine. All right. All oiled. And now we're just going to season the outside too with more salt and pepper because you want seasoning on every layer. So from up high, nice sprinkling of salt, some pepper, and we'll just rub that in too to get it all over. And now these are all ready for the oven. And about the oven, I have my oven preheated to 450 degrees. We're going to roast that, these birds, 450 degrees for about 25 minutes to start. What that's going to do is going to blast that skin. It's going to get all brown and crusty and delicious. Then we're going to lower it to 350 for about another 20 to 25 minutes. We'll start checking the temperature. We want to reach in the thigh an internal temperature of 180 degrees. So here we go, off to the oven. And here we are out of the oven. Quick recap. We got these all ready, put them in a 450 degree oven for 25 minutes. Then I lowered the heat to 350 and we left them in for another 25 to 30 minutes until we were getting 180 in the thigh. So Let's take a look. Now I pulled these out, loosely tended them in foil, and let them rest for an additional 15 minutes. It's very important. Look at that. Look at that. Perfectly golden brown. And when we checked these with the probe, when I checked them, it was 180 in the thigh. So that's perfect. So let's have a little taste. Now this is a practice run for Thanksgiving. So no one will notice if I have a little taste here. So I'm just going to move this one off the board or onto the board, off the pan. And I'm just going to take a little bite from back here. No one will notice. And if they do, well, it's for the show. Mmm. That's really good. Nice and moist. Let me cut this string and see if I can get a bite of that stuffing too because that's the star. Mmm, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. That stuffing in that bird, the orange pops, and there's a great sweetness right off the bat from the apricot in it, too. That's delicious, and believe it or not, it's still nice and moist inside. I need a little wine to wash it down. Mmm. That's delicious. So as always, guys, we will have this recipe and all the measurements and everything up in the comment section on YouTube, like we always do. And we love hearing from you, so keep sending in those pictures and things. And remember, before you leave, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And that way you're guaranteed to always get a new episode of Let's Celebrate TV every single week. So until we see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m., remember, you're always invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.